Even if you've never heard of it, chances are disk encryption is used to protect your private data. You may have seen headlines about stolen laptops containing social security numbers, bank account information, and other personal data. Disk encryption is becoming an increasingly common method to protect against this data theft. Disk encryption scrambles the contents of your hard drive, making them unreadable without an encryption key. Windows Vista, Mac OS X, and Linux all provide disk encryption features. Unfortunately, we have found new attacks that can defeat most disk encryption products if an attacker gains physical access to the computer. These attacks are surprisingly practical, typically taking only a few minutes. They require no exotic supplies or equipment. In most cases, the computer must be on or in sleep mode, but some disk encryption products are vulnerable even if the computer is completely off. If an encrypted computer is stolen, or even if it's just left unattended for a short time, a thief can use our attacks to find the disk encryption keys and unscramble the data. Our attacks exploit a little-known property of computer RAM, the memory where data is stored while it is being used. What happens to data in a computer's RAM when the power goes out? Most people, even many experts, will tell you that it's erased. But the truth is more complex. The data stored in RAM fades away gradually over a period of seconds to minutes. In most computers, we can read what's left by booting a simple startup program. We loaded this image into RAM. Here's what happens after we cut the power. The bits fade gradually and in a predictable way. In this case, the final pattern is a series of horizontal bars. Different memory chips fade at different rates, but most take seconds to fade. We can make them fade more slowly by cooling the chips before cutting power. When we hold this common duster spray can upside down, very cold liquid comes out, cooling the RAM to around minus 50 degrees Celsius. Once it has been cooled, we can even remove the RAM from the computer without disrupting the contents. Here's what happens if we keep the chips cold. Even after 10 minutes, very few bits have faded, and we can even use a different computer to read them. With brief physical access to a computer, these techniques can be used to make a near-perfect copy of memory as it existed before power was cut. Now, back to disk encryption. The computer needs to know the secret key in order to access the disk. When the computer starts, the user normally enters a password to unlock the key. But afterwards, for as long as the computer is running, the key resides in RAM. If a thief accesses the computer and makes a copy of the RAM, he can extract the key and break the encryption even without knowing any passwords. We've created a demonstration attack that defeats the BitLocker disk encryption feature included in some versions of Windows Vista. Our attack is completely automatic. We start with a Windows Vista laptop. The computer is locked, so we normally can't access the disk without a user's password. However, since Windows is running, the disk encryption key must be stored in the computer's RAM. All we need to do is attach an external hard disk or USB memory stick containing our attack software. Then we cut power to the machine by removing its battery. Then we quickly reconnect the battery and turn it back on. On this computer, the memory fades slowly enough that we don't need to cool the memory chips. We have also developed software techniques for correcting errors in the recovered memory even without cooling it. The computer boots from the external hard disk and runs our attack software, which we call Bit Unlocker. First, the software loads a small program that makes a copy of everything in memory. This captures most of the data that was present in RAM when we cut the power. Now, our program has all the time it needs to analyze the data. Next, our attack program searches the recovered memory for secret keys. After finding the keys, we can decrypt the computer's hard disk and access the files. The entire process takes only a few minutes. Whether your computer is at risk depends on what kind of disk encryption you use and what mode your computer is in when an attacker accesses it. Most disk encryption systems can be defeated if the computer is stolen or accessed when it is in sleep mode or at a password-protected screensaver. Windows Vista's BitLocker is also sometimes vulnerable even when the computer is completely off. If a computer running Vista normally starts up to the Windows login or password prompt, it's vulnerable when it's off. If it starts with the black BitLocker pre-boot password screen, it's safe unless it's stolen after you enter this password. Many other disk encryption products are probably vulnerable. We have tested attacks against TrueCrypt and against Apple's FileVault and Linux's DMCrypt. 
we believe most similar products are also at risk. Visit our website or check with the maker of your disk encryption software to find out how to protect yourself.